picked up yesterday. Truck is filthy. Well, I mean, you touch it and a pound of dirt falls out. That reminds me, I gotta fix this. Uh, need to fix that. Looks like my ABS line is pulled in two, but it also looks like it was taped together at one time. Hmm. So, no, I didn't go see Pops uh, after a little bit of thought. I thought, well, I didn't plan it and uh, I don't know about Highway 36 going all the way around to Sacramento have been 300 miles, so uh, I think I better make a little better plans and find out about 36 and and uh, that way uh, plus these people I'm leased on to they don't like uh, me going to California because my truck uh, is not legal out there because of the emissions law so so anyway so I'll have to plan it out a little bit better than just uh, out of the blue. Yeah, that's my. Oh, yeah, a little wobbly. That's my next load. There is some kind of tar paper for construction. It weighs about uh, 30, 33,500 pounds. I got a little ripped off on it. Uh, my last load paid 33. This one here paid 31.50. So I got a little ripped off on it. But when I got here, there wasn't hardly anything to choose from. So when it came along, I thought I'd take it for 150 less. Not that I wanted to, but I did. So. I didn't make 10,700 this week. Only made uh, uh, I don't know, a little over 10,000. I'll have to do the math. Let's see. Well, let's do the math. 7,500 plus 3150. So it's seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, ten thousand five hundred and fifty. There you go. So yeah, like 600 bucks short from last run out of here. But um, hey man, I'm not gonna stick my nose up at a $10,000 a week, are you? So anyway, I didn't think so. <laughs> Somewhere in my head I heard, nope. Yeah, that's all good money. Yeah, this load here is kinda because it's paper, you can't really tighten it up. So I put some crosses on the back, and I, they first, when they first did this, they had those, they had those in the back over here, up here. And I said, no, you need to move those. They look like they're leaning. It's probably just the way they're tightened up. But, uh, yeah, they're leaning in both ways, which is a good thing. But anyway, uh, so they were on the back. And I was like, hey man, uh, I asked them to wait and they said they were lighter. And I was like, well, can you move them up front for me? And they said, yeah, sure. So they moved them up front for me. That would save me some money on fuel because they're back here. That's just going to cause a lot of drag. And I already drive the most expensive fuel eating truck in the planet. 4.6, 4.8 miles per gallon. Yeah.
able to save this. That way we don't have to take any more structural pieces off that. Dang, that son. Right there, yeah, super. Imagine that. The cool squads are going over here. <laughs> hey, you know, I don't want to be on here very long. I ain't got a whole lot to say. Uh, so anyway, uh, Tuesday, um, I have nine hours and 59 minutes and I'll have a 34. I can actually take off because I got 27 hours, but if I got over there, then I wouldn't have no hours. We have seven hours. So I might as well do my 34 hour restart now. I'm so close to it. Uh, cook some supper here, have some salmon, maybe a yam, some, something out, vegetables, fruit, something, something. Anyway, might as well have a nice dinner, right? You guys have a nice dinner too. Uh, enjoy your Tuesday evening. If I can get this uploaded. God bless. Have a nice evening. And later.